Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Simulator Week. Today we're back here on day 3 here on PC Building Simulator. PC Building Simulator, if you guys did not know, we did a, like about a, two videos on the, the game itself. But here we're back once again making a, a new return here. We're probably going to start a new game because I honestly don't know where we left off here. So we're probably just going to start making a new one. Oh, what? Oh, we have different areas to unlock. Well, this is like... Okay, so I'm just gonna just do the regular workshop. I can't. Okay, apparently that's normal. All right, we're finally here in our new. Oh god, we're fifteen dollars in debt already. Okay, apparently we're just gonna move on to this. Uh, email. Uh, he's like, okay, check out these cloud notes. Welcome to your PC shop. A few things. The company isn't doing very well, and there's no money in the bank account. <laughs> Great. The rent and energy energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I have a job to go on the go, which should help with the rent. See email the email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in your in the CPU. I almost I almost always forget the P, and the PCs overheat. So I think you all set up. It's your company now. So run it and see how you see fit. I hope you do it better than I did. I had to borrow fifteen dollars for fuel. You know how it is. Wow. Okay, Uncle Tim is just dealing, making us do our own problems. Oh, we get to grab. Oh, I got the PC. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Do we just? Work on the PC first. You gotta uh, for this job. You need to run a virus scan. Press three or the cable button to move, and plug the monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and, and, and the power into the back of the PC. All right, there we go. Connect the motherboard. There we go. Bam. I have 750 Ti, dude. That's like so. 2014, I think, or maybe not. It might have been that. Insert USB drive. Uh, install USB drive, and let. Oh, okay. There we go. Welcome to the Omega OS, the operating system of choice. Click on the Add Remove Program to install the virus scanner, and don't forget to restart the PC after it has installed. All right, the virus scanner. Let's install that. Yeah. So yeah, I remember playing this like like about this was like three years ago. Was the last time I um played this game, so a lot of things have definitely changed over the years. Of course, with the all new fancy gear that comes out now. It's a little bit different, so I gotta restart the PC. Just gonna see if it, yep, there we go. Sword scanning. Oh god, we got a lot of files infected. Let's clean them all done. Alright. Fire scanner done and done. And now we can just turn it up turn this off. Let's collect our money. Yay, we got a hundred bucks from that. You complete with your first job. Well done. Come back tomorrow to see if there are any more jobs to do. I gotta pay five hundred oh, how am I gonna get five hundred dollars? Oh god, Monday, January first, twenty eighteen. Jeez. Three years ago, I'm gonna pay. You're gonna pay these bills. Oh man, let's see. Oh, my graphic card has fried itself, and I need to replace. Uh, I need to be replaced with the same one. And GTX 970, maybe one of those Xeon ones. I could drop it around the first thing tomorrow. I guess we get. I guess we gotta accept that. Um, buy your components. So yes, we got we got jobs. This one needs a hard drive. So okay, so we need a hard drive and a 970. Yes, let's get, give him this. That's all we need, and then a graphics card. Uh, it was 970. 970. Yes, add that to the cart. Now we're a little bit in debt, but we gotta speculate to accumulate. That's how economics work, right? All right. So I think since we do we have any more jobs. All right, let's go end the day. New parts have arrived. There we go. Music. It's just great. All right, what's this? Uh. So let's open a side panel. We gotta move the lock, the PCIe lock. I mean, the PCIe PCI lock. I remember doing this. I remember when I had to like move, get a new motherboard like a few years ago, and had to like reinstall everything. I literally had to. Um, it was a little bit scary at first because I never actually had a lot of experience on moving computer parts here and there. But I did. But I felt so proud because that's how I was able to install my. Um, X570 motherboard and uh, our uh, Ryzen 9 3900X with the RAM and everything. I felt so proud when it was actually working properly. And then when I figured out one, the RAM sticks was basically not not working. Um, so it was kind of funny how that happened. One of the RAM sticks that I recently bought, they weren't used or anything. They were actually brand new, but they were already dead on arrival, which was which sucks. So I had to go through the process of returning it and then buying a new one, and and I had to. Find a new like variant so I know that it actually works. Maybe I need to remove. Oh, install. There we go. I was being really. Okay, I thought it was like, what, what are you talking about? What do you mean? 
All right, now we got a power. No, oh, it doesn't need power, I don't think. Yeah, it is. yeah, there's no outlet because uh, I don't think this one. This one's a power efficient one. Is it gonna work? Hey, it's up. Hey, it finally did it. We did it. We fixed our computer. Or well, we didn't fix it, but like, yeah. Uh, that's fixed now. So let's put this in the delivery pile here. Let's see. Scan. Yeah, we're gonna remove viruses and clear out dust. I like, I'm a huge PC enthusiast. It just sucks that you can't really do much of anything in the PC world right now because a lot of stuff, like especially with GPU prices nowadays, it's been like really stagnant because of uh, the inflation and, my, and cryptocurrency. It's still inflated by the way, so nothing has changed. Uh, it is very satisfying though once you get all of it cleaned out. Yep, this cleared out. Power. Go to, let's go to the monitor here. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Let's install the virus scanner. You got. Ooh, 241 files infected. Might want to clean that. There we go. And now we just power the computer off. Yeah, place and delivery. Guide. Okay, we got it. That's fixed. Upgrade. We got to install. And by the way, guys, I'm not sure what's cool about this game is that this game. Are actually real life work like real life parts that you can buy for yourself which is kind of cool in a way because you get to see realistic like computer parts all together and you can so I mean and it's a simulation so it's supposed to look like very accurate so it could work with say like if you're trying to build a computer you probably, you probably, you probably find all the parts you need or either you're planning to get from this game and then you can build it yourself in the simulation. Say, hey, does this all these parts will fit correctly? And, it, and if it does, it works well, and that can probably help you out. It's similar to like a PC Parker, uh, PC part, PC parts list. I think what it was called, or PC parts builder picker thing. I'm not sure what the website's called, but there we go. There's the drive bay. All right, now let's install it in here. Open drive bay. Install hard drive, and then let's power it on. See if everything works and boots to the OS, so let's power it on. There you go. Works. So now, we'll just put our parts back to get, put this back up together, and then just basically sell it off. Now, collect. There we go. More space for your computer. Thank you. All right, thank you for all the parts. New parts. Oh, I got a GTX 1050 Ti overclocked edition available to buy. Um, I can collect that. There we go. And there we go. And then let's go to work. See if we get any jobs available for us. All right, not very good at computers, but mine isn't working properly. Uh, replace air cooler and clean up. I don't know what the parts are. Budget. Okay, let's look at the budget here. Yeah, let's just get them. We just get that one. All right, hold on. Let's actually just wait. Let's actually just move on to the next day, so I can see what the actual computers look like. We got more orders. Please don't. Oh God. Yes, we got a. So we gotta accept this one. I'm a total team group fanboy. Upgrade to eight gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Uh, clear out dust. Upgrade. And this is the upgrade, right? Let's see what your parts are. Uh, let's see what the part is. Uh, Motoharoni. Two gigabyte. Oh, okay. So it wants to go to sixteen gigabytes. What do you have? To <laughs> you have two gigabytes. Okay. So we hold. On. Let's look at the shop. So we got the fan, um, this guy wants to upgrade this 8 gigabytes, I think. Yeah, team group fanboy. Okay, so you need to look at the shop. We gotta make sure, so we get, we get, I think we get either extra money or better reviews if we get the right, per, like the right stuff that they like. Oh, okay, so we can buy this one because that's what it needs for the, okay, so that's what we can buy. So that's our, but that's in our budget. So we can buy all these next day. I bought my mom's brand new PC and I think I clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now it's all riddled with viruses. Guess we gotta take that one too. Well, let's put this back together. There we go. Okay. Remove the case part. Don't mind if I do. Let's take that. Let's take the air cooler out. There we go. Now we can probably start cleaning. Oh, we're missing the filters here. All right, dust is cleared out. Put this together. Do 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 do. There's like six. Of, there's five of them. Yes, I was right. All right. Let's see. Yep, we got the parts here. Let's open this Kai again. TV cooling. There you go go and then oh spoon into OS system there we go alrighty that's a good sign so wait there we go 
We gotta clean this one out. Let's take all that dust out of there. I like simulator games. That's why I'm so glad I was able to do simulator week because I get to play like crazy games like this and it's very, some of them are actually really realistic to what their actual real life application is. And you gotta get credit to some of these game developers. And for example, this game specifically, or yeah, specifically, like they've been updating this game for so long, like forever since when I stopped, like I played this game back like three years ago and it, they've been continuously been giving out updates to the game and adding new stuff to it, which was nice. And that's why this game has been pretty popular as of, as of late because of how accurate this is to like real life, real life uh, PC building, or at least similar in a way. It makes it look a lot easier than it is, but Gangnam Style, permission denied. Day of the Dead. I take a, <laughs> I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Get on a horse. You from what? Far Cry Five. All right. Oh, didn't mean to take that. There we go. All right, up scan. Let's get this. Let's get this one out of the way. All right, scan. Let's scan this. And oh my God, that's a lot of files infected. Let's clean those. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh. This any mini mini mo catch a tiger by it. I'm just gonna freaking take you. Okay, this is the guy that wants to upgrade to 16 gigabytes. 16 gigabytes, you say? Don't mind. I know it's not dual channel. You guys are gonna be sure like all your PC enthusiasts enthusiasts want to be mad at me like oh, You didn't do a dual channel or uh, two eight, eight gigabytes because you get a lot more performance Hey, they never say specifically they want to have a dual channel. So I'm just basically Just going by what they wanted. They just wanted 16 gigabytes. I'm giving them 16 gigabytes That's all they asked for okay. So, okay this is ready to go so Let's take this part Four gigabytes out take it out install uh memory eight gigabyte this fits well this fits better to your current yeah this like it fits the whole color scheme of your computer so i didn't make the right choice with this with this uh graphics card so i mean not graphics card i mean memory all right that works nice uh oh no hold on. we might want to uh put back the panel back in yeah we want to put that side panel back down do 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 all that. Let's, let's go back with this computer. I don't know why. I mean, am I doing this correctly? I don't know if I did it correctly, but uh, there we go. Perfect. So there's some. Uh, okay, so some of them are tur turning into white. Some of them are. Hey, I did what you asked. You got some white cables, okay? There we go. Perfect. Discard. 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 All right. We got clean inbox. And look at our cash money. We're about 1500 right now. All right. I recently upgraded my PC, but now it's not working properly. The computer boots okay, but when I try to benchmark it or run a game with the computer crashes, I had to replace I haven't replaced my PC, so could my new parts be drawing too much power? Oh god, Tim. Tim with hit for keeps forgetting the thermal paste. So, we need a power supply. Sean, 600, parking, 600, yeah, let's add that to the cart, but we look at the, I just, I don't remember the, the, uh, um, sockets yet, yeah, Skylake, okay, so 1151, 1151, alright, 1151, 1151, what's your budget, alright, so that's 100, right, and then we'll get done the next day, I think, alright, we gotta, today is the pay to be utility bill, so, uh, this is the doc, this is the guy who said, yeah, we gotta apply thermal paste, Install thermal paste. There we go. Install. Give him like the. Bro <laughs> Imagine if I give him the broken uh, CPU fan, then they come back for more. DreamWorks is actually a real life like computer test program that you can actually use to come test how powerful your PC is and if it can handle certain games here and there. So it's actually very useful for people who don't know like what are you looking for for in terms of power and they want to know if they can if their games can run certain other games. Instead of actually, so you don't have to worry about the cost of purchasing the game, realizing, oh no, this uh, this piece I'm running terribly on this computer with this game. So it helps a lot to have something like this. So let's run it. Honestly, this would be not bad of a business to start out if you're trying to figure out like computer problems here and there, like if, like just to do something that you enjoy, and then well, that's what just life in general. If you want to do work on a career that you enjoy, you pursue it. You don't let you just like don't let it be dreams. 
Like for me, originally I wanted to be a like I want to be a content creator app, but when in case if it doesn't like if something falls out or if I can't if I can't make it out there or make my pot make that impact, I always have like a feel safe because I always want for example I always want to be a civil engineer and that's why I'm studying it when I'm not content creating, and I enjoy civil engineering. Like you get to do a lot of things that I oh that thing's done, but yeah you get to enjoy like things that you well you wanted. Do a job that you really want to do. Oh, but we gotta replace the motherboard. Oh god, this is a pain in the butt because you gotta uh, unplug everything. It looks easy here. Like it looks easy trying to take it out right here in the in the game. But when it actually do it in real life, it this could take a few out. This could take a while. I heard that thermal paste is like one of the most like tedious things to do as well because like not because it's like you gotta remember that you gotta do it, but sometimes if you put a little bit too much, it just gets all messy and it, it causes a lot of heat problems here and there. But if you do it correctly, it shouldn't be not be an issue. But most people don't have that kind of type of issue. But people have always like complained about that. Like that was one of the most things that like at, when you first started, for example, when you first started doing computer stuff, one of the big issues that people had to learn like just do it because it has to be very picky on it was just putting thermal paste. I think that's everything. Now we just gotta do cables. There we go. There's the Omega system. There we go. Perfect. And this one is the the power supply issue. Yeah, power supplies that have been another another thing. Like people tend to forget how important the power supply can be actually sometimes because if you don't give enough power to your computer, like your computer opponents, they can't run as be the best they can do. My preferred br brands for when it comes to the power supply is probably be like EVGA. Of course, it is a good one, but I like EVGA the most out of all the, out of everything here. So. All right, install the new. Let's install the new one. A 250, jeez. And when computers need only 25, 2500, not 2500, uh, 250 watts. Yeah, not me. Usually people, when it, huge PC building, like huge tip for anyone who starts PC building eventually when GPU market does fi fix itself. Uh, always leave your side pad on open. When, even if you know that you're done with all the comp like interior parts, you don't know when something can go wrong when it, when it at first boot, and you might need to troubleshoot it. So it just saves time on your end, so you don't have to worry about it. The only time when you close the computer or what well, close the side panel is when you know everything is running and you're able to actually play your games. There we go. Oh my God. Bongo is a new review site where you can get customers will leave your feet really feet leave you feedback but both good and bad I have to purchase three hundred dollars for the freaking review site Heck no, I ain't doing that. So now so what's nice about having a second workbench is that if this is running a, a, an app like 3d mark You can always work on the next computer over here So that's kind of cool incomplete case. Oh wait, did I forget something? No, oh, no oopsies That's That's a little bit of important want to keep that power supply in there, don't we? <laughs> Good thing it stopped me there. Imagine if like, you just like send the delivery and I'm like, I'm missing a computer part now from this guy. Yay, we got more reviews. So thank you guys for watching uh, PC Building Simulator. In the next video, we will probably going to continue on with next day of PC Building Simulator. And leave comments below if you guys want to see, well not PC Building Simulator, but if a different simulator game, I don't know what I'm probably going to do next, but I'll let you guys know. And you guys will see it in the next upload, so it's just a, it's like a mystery for you guys. You guys get to figure out what uh, simulation games that we're going to be doing next. Well, you guys don't, you know the list, you just don't know what order. Well, haha, I'm unpredictable. Anyways, without being weird, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.